Queensland mum has got the shock of her life unexpectedly going into labour in a busy 7-Eleven car park in Logan. Thankfully, Sharon Daly, a retail worker, raced to the rescue, helping her deliver the baby. And the hero joins us now. Good morning, Sharon. Jazz. You hero, how are you doing? <laughs> Good morning, guys. I'm not too bad at all. What about the drama in a car park? Tell us how it all unfolded. Yes, yeah, so um, about quarter to two on Friday afternoon, just going about my business in, in the store, and a gentleman ran in screaming, we need a towel, a lady's having a baby <laughs> in the car park. So I grabbed a towel and ran and just did whatever needed to be done and kept everyone as calm as possible. So you need to go into not too much detail, <laughs> some more detail. <laughs> um, so, so you're there, you're with the, the mother who's giving birth and you're waiting for an ambulance. What happened? Yeah, yeah. So um, instincts just took over. I know it sounds strange, but I've given, I've, I've helped dogs have puppies before and it wasn't <laughs> that much different. Oh, yeah. um, <laughs> except for just supporting. <laughs> Just supporting mum and dad and keeping them calm. There was a toddler in the back seat and the head was out and I'm like, it's all good, mama. One more push and we're all OK. Baby was born. Um, quick thinking, I took my shoelace out of my shoe and tied off the umbilical cord. What? And oh, my goodness. <laughs> Even to know to do that. <laughs> yeah. Just instincts, honestly. It... it I'm, I'm sure anyone else would have done the same thing in the same situation. I'm not sure about that. I think freaked out. How is mum and how is Barb and, and how's that all going? I mean, you must feel pretty good. I would love... I, I don't know. When I left them, everything was fine. Mum was already breastfeeding baby in the car. Um, everything worked out fine, I think, but I haven't been able to get in touch with mum and dad. Um, I have a lot of gifts for them oh. <laughs> and just to help them out with the new baby and I would love to know how they're doing and I, I, we just can't seem to track them down just Oh, yet. we need to make that happen. Hopefully she's watching this morning. She'll reach out. Amazing. That would be awesome. Look, that's your, that's your family. You've got three kids and yeah. a grandchild. I mean... I don't know, you, you, you look amazing. How does she have a grandchild? <laughs> yeah. How do you have a grandchild, Sharon? <laughs> <laughs> and another one on the way in oh. four weeks. Oh, why How not? exciting. Well, if you want to get down to Cheapest Chips at Logan City, come and see this hero and we'll try and get that family for you to a reunion. It'd be lovely. Good on you. You're a legend. That would Absolutely. be lovely. Thanks, Thank you, guys. Sharon. Yeah, I just pulled my shoelace I off. Know. I know. Anyone to do the same thing. It ain't no thing. It ain't no thing. <laughs> oh, my goodness. What a legend. We'll come. Hey there today, fans. Sarah and... <laughs> What's my name again? Oh my God, Carl. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching our YouTube <laughs> channel, though. Subscribe now for more news, special reports and amazing Aussie stories. And Carl misbehaving, Whoa, of course. That never happens. Always happens. What's she talking about?